Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So I want to show you a new device and my first impressions. If you're a person who likes to do a lot of front facing video, a lot of selfies, or you like to take some really good portrait or bokeh effects uh, photos, this might be the phone for you if you are on a very tight budget. Uh, and this phone is actually really solid. We're going to get into this unboxing and first impressions and let's go. All right, guys, welcome to this first impressions. As I said in the intro, this is the brand new ZTE Blade 10. This is in the Blade family. This is one of the latest phones from ZTE that they're launching. Been using this for a little bit. It's actually been a few days, but you're watching the first impressions video. I got some hands on time with this at a special event, uh, but now I have my own here and I want to take a look around the device. It's got a nice little red accident power button, volume rockers there. The SIM tray is on this side with an SD card slot, by the way. You got a headphone jack. You got a dual camera setup back here, and they're both functional. <laughs> and you got a plastic back. It looks like a glass phone. This is actually a plastic back. And you've got but the fingerprint reader is obviously glass. And you've got a single speaker out on the bottom there. Then you have this uh, six point, pretty much four inch display right here. Now, starting with the display, let's just let's get in here. Let's crank that brightness up. Look at how bright that device is. Uh, this this is pretty impressive, actually. For a few a couple hundred dollars, you get a very big display, killer battery on this thing. Um, it, testing it and playing with it is different than actually using it. I put my AT and T SIM card in here. Service is actually really good. Programs and everything work as they should. Uh, no issues at all. Um, I like it so far. I like it. But more importantly, after speaking with several people at ZTE, they're actually focused on the uh, cameras, specifically the front camera. So that's why I wanted to do the intro that I did with the front camera. I got to tell you, this is actually a really impressive set of rear cameras as well. If you like doing um, portrait shots uh, and, and taking selfies, you're on point. Now, the front camera doesn't have portrait video, but the rear camera does. Uh, and... The front camera is really, really sharp, though, when taking photos. Uh, it's very impressive, I have to say. Um, for Again, for a couple hundred dollars, this phone is kind of a direct competitor to, like, Motorola, Blue, and those devices. And I actually think it stands toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I will test it against my Motorola device, to be honest, because I know some of you guys might want to see that in a price range, uh, a device in the same price range. But this device is actually really sweet, man. I just want to give you a first impressions. I will follow up with a review later on, but this is just kind of a mini hands-on uh, review and first impressions. The screen is absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and get into the wallpapers here uh, and show you some of the different ones here that we that you can actually use. This is just it just, it just pops, and obviously these are some of the the, the ZDE wallpapers that you've seen before. Uh, they're really impressive, though. The screen is is very nice, man. That's a nice one right there. This one is this is one of my favorite ZTE wallpapers right here. I uh, use that one on the uh, Axon 10 Pro at times. I use it on that device. And you can see here it is next to the Axon 10 Pro. By, uh, by the way, you can kind of see uh, how much screen resolution you've got. It's kind of got the same thing. I have a black wallpaper at the top of this one, uh, but and there's a, a half the cost. Uh, you know, good battery. Really good cameras. Um, processors are obviously different, uh, but um, this one has a, a Helio P60, I believe, inside. Uh, but don't let that fool you, folks. I mean, stock Android, it, it blazes right along. Everything works really, really good on this device. So um, I think you should probably consider it if you're in, if you have a tight budget and you want some really good cameras. 
All right, guys, so here's the rear camera on the device. And I gotta tell you, the footage is actually really impressive. Again, if you're on a tight budget and you take a lot of photos and you want killer battery, this might be a phone you wanna consider, but what do you think about this quality? Video quality, all the video that I showed you in, in, at the beginning of the video uh, and throughout the video, it's all done with no external microphone, obviously, and I'm just using the device itself. So first impressions of the brand new ZTE Blade 10. What do you guys think? Shaman J, leave a comment down below. Would you pay $200 for this device or $175, $150? Name your price just based on the first impressions that I've given you. What do you think about the quality? I'll see you in the next video. Take care.